Hello and welcome to my channel. If you have a pet at home, this video is for you. Sometimes you might ask yourself how you're gonna feed your pet when you're away from home for a long period of time. Well, in today's video, we're gonna answer that question. So, let's begin. The best way to solve this problem is to use a smart pet feeder. I use the Pet Kit Element Mini and it works great for me. It connects via Wi-Fi to your 2.4 GHz frequency and it can be easily set up in the Pet Kit app. With the Smart Food Dispenser, you can schedule up to 10 feedings per day from 5 grams to 100 grams. It also has a manual button if you want to feed the dog at that specific time. The dual lock bucket keeps up to 3.3 pounds of dry food. It has a built-in weight sensor and it will send you alerts when food capacity is low. The power adapter will work with backup battery even when Wi-Fi is not available. The app is compatible with Android and iOS devices. Once you download the app, register, then log in and proceed to add your device. Here's a tutorial on how to do so. Now that we have everything installed and set up in the app, let's start with my favorite part, which is getting it into HomeKit. In order to integrate the smart feeder into HomeKit, we're gonna be using Hooves. Hooves is a user-friendly home automation platform that serves as a local bridge that makes the connection between your devices and HomeKit. Before we install the plugin, there's some information that we need to get from the PetKit app. To get this information, we need to download the Quantum ULTX app from the App Store. Using this app, we can capture the HTTP request from the PetKit app. All right, guys. So now we can go ahead and download the Quantum ULTX app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Let's find and open the Quantum ULTX app. Toggle this on. Press OK. And now... Let's head back to the PetKit app, find your devices, click on them. Let's go back to the Quantum app and select HTTP Capture. Head over to the first one on the top, click on that, scroll down till you find Discover Roster towards the end. And once you get to it, select it, and this will bring you to the page where you will find your X session and that is what we're looking for. Now that we have all the apps installed and set up, the pet feeder integrated into the pet kit app and also have the X session code with us, we can now proceed to integrate this into Hoops, therefore making it work in HomeKit. To access the Hoops server, head over to Safari and type in hoops.local now head over to plugins 
Wait till it loads. Now let's head over to the search bar and type in pet kit. Hit enter. Uh, it should be the first one, the pet kit mini battery. Click on that. Wait till it loads. Here, you're gonna have a description of what the whole plugin is about. Basically, what you're gonna get in HomeKit once you have this installed. HomeKit will use fan speed to determine the amount of food to dispense. The faster the fan speed, the more food it will dispense. And the lower the fan speed, the less amount of food will be dispensed. It is going to use an on and off switch to trigger the drop meal. And it will use occupancy to determine if there's food in the feeder. All right, so it's time to install the plugin. Make sure we click on the create a bridge. Click install. Let's wait for it to install. While it's installing, make sure that we have all the information that we gathered earlier because we're going to need to input all that information in to configure the plugin. All right, so now head over to configuration. In configuration, this is where we're going to input all that information that we have. So make sure that this stays at info, add, North America. I have the pet kit uh, element mini. All right, so we're gonna scroll down to headers and here's where we're gonna input all the information that we gathered before. So right here, we're gonna type in X session and right below that, this is where the X session key that we got from the quantum app this is where it needs to be inputted. Everything else stays the same. There's pretty much nothing else that we need to do except scroll all the way down and click on save. Now, all we need to do is go over to our iOS device and add this to HomeKit. Uh, it's the same way that you would do with any other accessory. You will find the Home app, go to the plus, add accessory, uh, more options. Find the pet kit feeder. Add anyways. And enter the home kit code. To find the home kit setup code, head over to hoops.local, click bridges, find the pet kit mini bridge, and the setup code will be under pin. Now that we integrated the pet feeder into home kit, you could set automations or even ask Siri to feed your pet. Hey, feed Oreo. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.